Katy Perry's newest album, 143, arrived amidst a storm of controversy. The album, highly anticipated by fans and critics alike, was expected to be another chart-topping success. However, it quickly became the center of a heated debate. The source? Her decision to collaborate with producer Dr. Luke. Known for his work with top artists, Dr. Luke's involvement was initially seen as a strategic move to ensure the album's success. This choice ignited a firestorm of criticism, particularly from fans aware of the sexual assault allegations made against him by Kesha. Social media platforms were flooded with backlash, with many calling for a boycott of the album. While Dr. Luke has vehemently denied these accusations, and a legal battle culminated in a settlement, the cloud of controversy remained. The legal proceedings were highly publicized, adding fuel to the already intense public scrutiny. Perry's collaboration reignited the debate, forcing a conversation about accountability, artistic freedom, and the complexities of the music industry. The situation highlighted the ongoing struggle between supporting artistic expression and addressing serious allegations within the industry. As the controversy continues to unfold, it raises important questions about the responsibilities of artists and producers in the public eye. Perry, no stranger to the public eye, chose to address the controversy head on. In an appearance on the popular podcast Call Her Daddy, she acknowledged the hurt and disappointment felt by many fans. Their voices, she admitted, were not lost on her. The backlash was significant, with some fans expressing their discomfort and anger on social media platforms. Many grappled with reconciling their love for Perry's music with their stance on the allegations against Dr. Luke. Central to Perry's defense was a clear distinction, separating the art from the artist. She argued that her music should be judged on its own merits, independent of the controversies surrounding her collaborators. She emphasized that her collaboration with Dr. Luke was one among many for 143. Perry pointed out that her creative process involved numerous individuals each contributing their unique talents to the final product. The music, she insisted, stemmed from her own experiences, her personal journey of growth and transformation. Every song, she explained, was a reflection of her own life, her struggles and her triumphs. Dr. Luke, in her narrative, was simply one of the architects helping to bring her vision to life. She likened the process to building a house where each person has a specific role, but the final design is hers. This distinction, while potentially difficult for some fans to accept, highlighted a crucial question. To what extent can we, or should we, separate an artist's personal life from their creative output? Perry's defense invites us to consider the complexities of artistic collaboration and the importance of focusing on the art itself. It challenges us to think about the broader implications of holding artists accountable for the actions of those they work with, and whether it is fair to let such associations overshadow their creative achievements. Perry's explanation also provided a glimpse into the often hidden machinery of the music industry. Collaboration, she highlighted, is the lifeblood of creating music. From songwriters and producers to instrumentalists and sound engineers, a vast network of individuals contributes to the final product. For an artist like Perry, known for her catchy pop anthems and elaborate stage shows, this collaborative ecosystem is even more pronounced. Section 5. Navigating a complex industry. The controversy surrounding 143 underscored the tightrope artists walk in an industry rife with power imbalances and ethical dilemmas. Artists like Perry often find themselves at the center of a complex web of relationships, both personal and professional. 
Navigating this landscape requires careful consideration, especially when allegations of misconduct arise. Perry's situation brought these complexities into sharp focus, prompting a larger conversation about accountability and responsibility within the music world. Section 6. Women's World – An Anthem of Empowerment Despite the controversy, Perry remained resolute in her desire to shift the focus back to her music and its intended message. She specifically highlighted Women's World, a song co-written and produced with Dr. Luke, as a powerful testament to female empowerment. In her own words, the song reflects her personal growth as a woman and a mother, celebrating strength, resilience and sisterhood. And Section 7. Reclaiming the Narrative Shifting the Focus By emphasising the empowering themes within 143, particularly those embodied in Women's World, Perry attempted to reclaim her narrative. She wanted the conversation to move beyond the controversy surrounding her collaborator and towards the positive messages embedded within her music. This strategic shift allowed her to simultaneously address the criticism while promoting her artistic vision and the values she aimed to convey through her work. Section 8. Artistic Freedom versus Public Scrutiny Perry's situation ignited a debate about the delicate balance between artistic freedom and the court of public opinion. Artists, often viewed as cultural influencers, are increasingly held accountable for their personal beliefs and actions. This scrutiny extends to their collaborators and creative choices. While the freedom to create and collaborate remains paramount, the lines become blurred when ethical concerns come into play. Section 9. Growth and Evolution – A Mother's Perspective Throughout the controversy, Perry maintained that her collaborations, including the one with Dr. Luke, were part of a larger personal and artistic evolution. Motherhood, she divulged, profoundly impacted her worldview and creative process. This new perspective, she argued, informed the themes of growth, resilience and self-discovery woven throughout 143 songs. Section 10. Conclusion. A new chapter. Katy Perry's decision to collaborate with Dr. Luke on 143 sparked a necessary and complex conversation. This collaboration was not just another project. It became a focal point for discussions that extended far beyond the music itself. It forced a reckoning within the music industry and among fans raising questions about accountability, artistic freedom, and the very nature of collaboration. The debates were intense, with industry insiders and fans alike weighing in on the implications of such a partnership. While the controversy surrounding the album may linger, Perry's willingness to address the criticism head-on, her transparency in interviews, and her engagement with fans through social media have shown her resilience. Her commitment to her artistic vision has never wavered. She continues to write and produce music that resonates with her audience, staying true to her unique style and voice. Her focus on the empowering messages within her music mark a new chapter in her career. These messages of strength, resilience and self-empowerment have become a cornerstone of her brand.